हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ तो साझ हा एंड आई एम प्रोसिंग बी एल एल बी फ्रॉम जे सी सी एल सी कोलकाता करेंटली आई एम ए लीगल इंटरनेट लेक्सेस एंड कंपनी लॉ फॉर्म सो टुडे आई एम ऑन डिस्कस अबाउट ऑब्सल्यूट लाइबिलिटी द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एब्सल्यूट लाइबिलिटी एंड इट इज़ अ टोटली इंडिजीनियसली डेवलप्ड कंसेप्ट एड बाई अवर ऑनरेबल सुप्रीम कोर्ट सो टुडे आई एम गॉन डिस्कस अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एब्सल्यूट लाइबिलिटी and discuss in detail about it so how does the concept of, of uh, absolute liability evolved so the concept of absolute liability evolved out in the mc was mehta versus union of india it is a very famous case in which the concept of of uh, absolute liability evolved and what is the year of the, this case is 1987 so why i am mentioning this year that the year in year 1986 the famous bhopal gas tragedy case this has occurred and and uh, one year or later of this in mc mehta versus union of india uh, uh, this concept of absolute liability was as in, in involved so we have already he, he discussed about the concept of strict liability and uh, as it was uh, as observed, it was observed in reynolds versus fletcher case is but uh, today but uh, at the absolute liability a hey, wh- uh, what has happened and in let us discuss as about the case of mc mehta versus union of india in this case oleum gas leak oleum gas as from supreme court was dealing with the claims of the leakage of oleum gas as as from one of the units of sri ram foods and fertilizer industry so basically there was a uh, a corporate uh, there was a an enterprise named m sri ram um foods and fertilizer industries and uh, from there one of the plants and there was uh, there was an uh, gas named oleum which leaked so supreme court was dealing with the matter as relating to it it and uh, in which city it was uh, uh, this this leak happened in the city of delhi belonging to delhi cloth mills limited so the company was delhi cloth mill limited right and so what uh, what had happened the court had in mind what the court had in mind that within a period of 1 year there was this was the second and and case of large or scale leakage of deadly gas in india so the court had in mind that uh, the bhopal gas tragedy has just happened and this is the second and deadly a gas leak case so we have to take an action against this as as in year earlier due to the leakage of the mic gas as from the union carbide plant in bhopal all uh, as we know all friends that uh, mic gas was leaked from bhopal the famous bhopal gas tragedy happened and uh, an mic gas has leaked from what is the name of the company union carbide plant more than 3000 persons have died it and lakhs of others as are sub- were subjected to serious diseases so 3000 3 more than 3000 persons i have died and many more are are uh, have serious diseases so the supreme court took a bold decision supreme court took a bold decision supreme court would always stick to bold decisions and holding that it was not bound to follow the 19th century rule of english law so basically the law is very outdated supreme court said it and it could evolve a rule suitable to social and economic conditions prevailing in india at the present day and it could evolve a law uh, that would subject to social and economic uh, social and economic conditions prevailing in india at the present day so basically they want to evolve a law which uh, which is uh, which can and suit the social and economic conditions of india at the present day because this law was very outdated it was a 19th century english law and uh, so the supreme court so the supreme court evolved the concept of absolute liability as a part of the indian law preference to the rule of strict liability so uh, in this uh, the rule of strict liability was not totally abolished you can prefer between the strict liability and absolute liability so the strict liability case as we all know was a let down in, in relance versus fletcher it expressly declared that the new rule was not subject to any exceptions under the rule in so basically in in rule of strict liability we get exceptions we get five exceptions and we get four exceptions from general defenses in tort and one and is the uh, exception of third party but in in this we don't but in, in the concept of absolute liability we don't get any exceptions any exceptions are not granted in the rule of exco absolute liability so who uh, who invented the um, 
फेमस लॉ ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एब्सोल्यूट लाइबिलिटी वॉज जस्टिस ऑनरेबल जस्टिस भागवती ऑब्जर्व दैट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट दैट द रूल लेन एंड स्वर्स फ्लेचर इवॉल्व इन नाइनटीन सेंचुरी एंड एट द टाइम इन वेन ऑल दीज डेवलपमेंट्स ऑफ द साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी हैड नॉट एंड टेकन प्लेस एंड कुड नॉट अफोर्ड एनी गाइडेंस इन इवॉल्विंग एनी स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लाइबिलिटी कंसिस्टेंट टू द कंस्टिट्यूशन लॉ सो बेसिकली इट्स एट दैट द लॉ इज वेरी आउटडेटेड एट एंड वी नीड टू इवॉल्व न्यू एंड इवॉल्व न्यू लॉ इट मैच द सिचुएशन ऑफ द प्रेजेंट डे इंडिया एंड बिकॉज ऑफ द साइंटिफिक कंडीशन साइंटिफिक न्यू साइंटिफिक things have evolved so we cannot we in india cannot hold our hands back and i venture to evolve a new principle of liability which english courts have not done so oh justice bhagwati said that they, he will he'll, uh, he'll evolve a new principle of liability which is called absolute liability so the court court gave two reasons justifying the rule firstly the enterprise carrying out an hazardous and inherently dangerous activity for private profit it has social obligation to compensate those suffering therefrom and and it should absorb such loss from an end, end item of overheads and secondly the enterprise alone own has the resources is to discover and guard against such hazards and dangers so basically if you are an enterprise and some gas has leaked so you have to pay Uh, you have to pay compensation so uh, basically this uh, this rule rule of absolute liability uh, basically covers only enterprises if you are an enterprise you make profits then you have to give compensation and it is a so- social obligation to give compensation so these uh, these this is the whole concept of uh, uh, absolute liability hope you like it guys and uh, thank you this is it as this is tusaja signing off